Okay, lawn fans, you ready? So I'm gonna give you an up top shot of the backyard, the uh, Xenon Zoysia. And then I'm going to take you out front and show you what's going on out there, show you the putting green, the chipping green and all that and tell you what's going on with it. So here is the Zoysia. I know you're getting afternoon shadows all over the place right now, but that is the main reason I'm showing right now is because of this tree cover. At this time of day, I'm gonna guess it's around four in the afternoon, but we are in total shade right now. And all the other grasses I tried out here would not take. And the zoysia finally took, caught root. This is season three, no two, two full seasons with this. Big reason or big lesson I learned this season was that I have to fertilize this stuff as much as I do my Bermuda. And I was not doing that. I was treating it like a stepchild. I wasn't giving the same type of treatments to it. But once that I hit this thing with some high nitrogen, it took off. Started filling in everywhere. Um, I could put a putting green out here if I wanted to right now. Just cut it down low. This uh, spot that I had a problem with, the dead spot there, once that I got that soil turned over, that I aerated it, started pumping water to it, some fertilizer, it took off. Um, I know that will be filled in this next year without having to plug it. Um, I just learned a lesson with the zoysia that you have to feed it. So, no beer today. I ran out yesterday, college football. Now these dirt spots out here, what's going on with that Bermuda Brian? That's actually fescue. And the outsides of this, I fescue because it doesn't get the same amount of sunlight that the middle area here does. And so it stays in the shade pretty much more throughout the um, fall in the winter into the spring. So that's why I'm doing that. I'm keeping it watered. I just got done. It's, it's been about a week since I seeded that. I've been watering five times a day. I'll cut that back to four times a day and that's just hand watering, keeping the, the ground moist and the, and the seed uh, damp. I don't want to drench it, but that's what's going on with that. Show you the view from down here. There's the zoysia. And right now, it's a maintenance game with leaves. I will have tons of leaves down here. And what I do is I blow them down to that end and then I blow them back out here to the woods at that end. This dirt spot down there, that is gonna be fescue. Now let's go out here to the front. The front I'm pretty much done with. For the year, I do have some dollar spot out there on it right now, but no fungicides, no disease control, anything like that. I'm gonna let it ride for the rest of the year. Um, uh, we are in the upper 90s, not the upper 90s, the lower 90s right now. And so I'm going to still keep my inch of water down uh, one inch per week on it. So tomorrow morning I'll do a good um, watering in. Here's the chipping green. I'm going to give you all a lesson that I learned this year, a secret to this. But it is very nice and tight. And that's look at that shade right now. And it's still growing in good. Um, so over here is the putting green. And it is looking very good, very thick and full. Um, puttable surface right now. I'm double cutting it every time I can, or every time I'm cutting with the real mower. But if you take a look at that, back here where I put that river sand down, um, it's filling in nice, but it's not going to fill in this season. It will definitely be filled in next year. And that gave it a little bit more of a solid base for the grass, um, but it will be uh, masonry sand from now on. And then here's the fringe. I don't know if you'll be able to make that out on this video. And then here's the front yard. This is rotary cut. This is not real cut. I real cut for 90% of the season, then it gets towards the fall. I'll rotary cut it, bag the leaves up in it to keep it clean and nice. But everything is starting to drop leaves right now here in Northwest Georgia especially with the dry weather we've had. So a lot of this is just gonna be clean up. I may come out here and put the 10, 10, 10 down on it in two weeks. But other than that, just keeping water on it, cutting it and maintaining it, no treatments, no nothing. And that's it. So that's what's going on in my yard. Right now we're at the end of September and we're just cruising on into dormancy and waiting for all the leaves to drop out of the trees and then we will hibernate for the winter. Bermuda Brian.
out.